Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you with another video. It's been a long time since I've done a fish room tour, been a few months, and I uh, thought I would do a two-part fish room tour. You can see all my tanks. We'll do part one will be the uh, salt water, or freshwater tanks down in the basement, and then part two will be the, uh, the uh, reef tanks, the saltwater tanks. So um, yeah, uh, sorry for the lack of uh, content as far as actually Full videos. I know I've been uploading a lot of shorts just to kind of keep some content uh, going for you guys out there. But um, since we're here at the beginning of 2023, only a couple of days in, I thought it'd be a good time to uh, do a video, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. I want to thank everybody that uh, on the Black Friday sale and through the holiday season. Um, supported the website with uh, purchases of Southern Delight fish food and the other products that I sell. Um, if you're new to this channel, um, make sure you go check out my Aquatic Support Systems website. That uh, is where you can buy Southern Delight. I'm the only bulk dealer uh, in the nation for Southern Delight fish food. You can buy the bulk bottles or the regular bottles. I also sell uh, some uh, shrimp products like Shrimp King and Glass Garden and stuff like that. And then I sell the uh, the uh, green Pleco plush toys that are all fish related with the suction cups that stick to the tank. And if I remember, I'll show you some of those later in the video here too. So uh, that being said, uh, thanks for uh, watching these videos. Thanks for your support and uh, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started with something new actually here. Um, since the last video, I have changed this uh, 40 gallon breeder stack from shrimp tanks. Well, in the last video, you did see these angelfish up here, I believe, but I've got two discus tanks now. Took all the substrate and everything out of these tanks and painted them white, um, which are much better coloration um, for discus to be in um, versus black backed tanks. So. Let's get started here, and uh, sorry, something fell there. Um, so down at the bottom here, I've got five tiger turquoise. These are um, not as big as I had hoped, um, but they're they're okay. Um, and the coloration on two of the three are really good. The other three are questionable at this point, but we'll see what happens as they grow out. Um, I had hoped for some bigger ones, and uh, it's a long story, but um, they were delivered to me, and uh, they were smaller than advertised, and so instead of turning the guy down, I negotiated a lower price and kept them. But, um, yeah, like, this one here looks really nice with the red. These ones have more of a yellowish striping, and this one's got the red there. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying them. They're eating great. Had them now for a couple of weeks. Then up above, these ones I'm really happy with. These are, um, some red checkerboard pigeons. I got five of these. They're four and a half inch and look real, real nice. These ones I got from Chicago Discus. I had them shipped in, picked them up at the airport and uh been real happy with them these ones are a little more skittish and aren't eating as quickly they're eating but not as much and they're not like super excited when food comes but they do eat so that's good i've been trying to feed a little bit of a, a variety a few different things some uh some frozen beef hearts, some frozen blood worms, some freeze-dried blood worms. I also feed the uh, the aquatic or the uh, Southern Delight uh, Nano Krill. Uh, these are half millimeter pellets, real good for discus and angels and stuff like that. I wish all five of them would kind of come out so I could let you see. There's one hiding back there in back of the plant on the cone. Three of them are out front, and then there's another one kind of back there, but. I'll put a little food in and see if that attracts them. Um, what haven't I fed yet today? Um, let's do freeze dried blood worms, or black worms, I should say. 
see if I can get this open one-handed. Yes, I can. Cool. Oh, and uh, I mentioned in the intro about the uh, the stuff plushies. There is a discus one, which is really cool. Um, so I got that chilling over here by my discus tank now. Here's a bunch of the other ones. I've shown you guys these before. Still got sold a bunch over Christmas time, but still have some available here if you're looking for some things like that. So anyway, I just got some uh, freeze dried black worms. I, I get them in the kind of the cube shape. We'll put one down here in this tank. I like to kind of press them up against the glass. Uh, this one kind of broke apart, which is fine. These guys are going to come at it pretty good usually. And then, uh, oh, they're a little scared because I'm so close. When I feed them, I usually back up right away. Um, let's do this one up here. Um, and let me see if either of them I'm just gonna back up and then see this guy's already pounding it. Well, thought I could zoom in, but I can't. Yeah, they're going at it. Oh, and now this one is actually going for it too here. Honestly, this is the first time I'm catching this on camera. This is the first time that I have put in food and they've come up to the top for it. They've always waited until um, it sinks, so that's that's making me really happy. With discus, you have to be real patient. Um, they don't always want to eat right away. They're one of those fish that can be picky and stressed and skittish and stuff like that. So as you can see, three of them are up there now. The fourth, Let's see if the one in the back comes out of hiding at all. Now the interest seems to maybe be going down for a couple of them, but that one there is picking at it. And these guys here have just totally torn apart that piece, and what's left of it is being eaten. <coughs> so anyway. But yeah, the colors on these guys I'm, I'm super happy with. I, I was the first set, and I may be getting some more discus, um, but the first ones that I wanted, I wanted red and white with just super nice coloration and, and I'm happy with these. So if you're looking for discus and, and want to have some shipped in, I would recommend Chicago discus. I didn't have any problems with them. We did have a problem with Southwest Airlines screwing up the flight, but, um, but uh, Miranda at, uh, at Chicago discus went back to the airport in Chicago they never had left brought him back to his place and a couple days later we shipped again and it worked out just fine um, and he was very accommodating during the whole process so um, I was I can't give anything but thumbs up to them um, and then up here we've got these uh, koi angels that I've had for a while now um, probably going to uh, get rid of them and uh, get some discus in this tank, either another set of five or a breeding pair. So these guys, they just love the nano krill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some in, see if I can do it one handed. There we go, watch them go to town on it. So yeah, I'm having fun with these guys too, but I just have already kind of decided that I want discus up here. Thought I wanted some angels and some discus, but I just like discus so much more than angels. So nothing wrong with these, but I only have so much space. So I don't think that these guys will probably be around by the time my next video is out. Oh, and I got one Hadeensis fry right there that's uh, survived and grown out during this whole process. So, anyway, we'll get one more quick look at these guys. You got four of them right in front of you. This guy's still hiding in the back. But yeah. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's go check out the Oscars. Um, they're doing good. No problems at all with any of them. They're still all healthy and happy, um, continuing to grow. Looking real good. I got real lucky with the colors on these guys overall. 
really enjoying them still. Got these guys in a 300 gallon um, deep dimension. So that's a six foot tank, um, three feet deep. And then as you can tell, I still have the clown loaches in there, some convicts, some jewel cichlids, there's some jewels back there. And, uh, well, that's about all. all I got to say about that tank right now, over here, this is the first of the Midas tanks, there's Cheeto. Cheeto's still kicking it. Everyone comments that his eyes are messed up, and you're right, they are. They're cloudy. I think he's blind, to be honest with you. There's the female. Got some convicts back there with a just a load of fry. Still got the red hook silver dollars. A bunch more convicts, and there's one jewel in there. Still got this one albino hunter in red point, and then uh, there's another female convict right there. These female convicts really have super nice colors on them. Look really like the, I mean, I like the gray and black stripe, but then the orange belly and the the, the kind of yellowish, greenish on the fins is just super cool in my opinion. So there's some more convicts with fry right in front here. Um, there was some convicts with fry over here, but it looks like they've been chased out. But anyway, you can see a bunch of them back there. So... And then, of course, we've got the uh, Hadiensis down here. I'm gonna this chair over. I feel like I can get down a little bit lower here. Here's the male. And then uh, one of the females and the other female. Um, still don't have a name for this guy. I don't name all my fish, but um, I did name both of the females now. This one over here is Ruth Langmore, and this one's Kim Wexler. And if you know who those people are from different shows, you know what I'm talking about. And actually, Kim Wexler, I just noticed, she's got a bunch of eggs on this uh, rock right here. So she's garden eggs. Um, they, the male and then uh, Ruth over here has been hanging out in this pot lately. So I think, I think he's probably trying to breed with both of them right now. Sorry that Ruth has a big turd hanging down, but that's how it goes sometimes. But yeah, um, you can see in the reflection of the bottom how you can actually see the eggs better that way than on there but there's a crap load of them so they're doing good um just this guy i don't know man hadiensis are amazing fish and the coloration on this guy is really cool just really excited to see what he'll look like as he continues to grow and uh yeah wish i could get him to turn side there we go nice nice to get a side profile shot of him That is one heck of a nice fish. Hoping that I can grow him out bigger than my last one. The last one I had got really nice and uh, eventually died, unfortunately. So the girls are fighting. But yeah, that's the Hadiensis. Still got the Ombi tank over here. These, these, by the way, if you're new, these are two 180 gallon tanks top of another, one another. This is a big 300 gallon eight footer acrylic. And this is a F1 Rio Magdalena Umbi. This is uh, Optimus, that's his name. That name was uh, given to him before I got him. So I uh, guess I don't name all my fish. I name some of them, some of them have come with names. Um, He's been real hard on the female lately. I think I talked about that in my last video. It had gotten better, and then now she's hiding today. Sometimes when I, like this morning, she was out all over the place, just swimming freely and enjoying herself, eating and stuff like that. So I don't know if I fed them right now, if, if she would come out or not. But 
This guy is getting massive. Very big. It's a fun fish, that's for sure. Um, over here, then, I've got two 210-gallon stacks. We'll start down on the bottom. I got the Red Devils, who just seem to always spend their time in this uh, flower pot, even if they're not spawning. Thinking about getting rid of them. Not sure yet. But um, there may or may not be eggs in there right now. It's always hard to tell because it's kind of dark in there. But these guys are nice. I mean, they got the nice big lips that everyone's looking for in Red Devils. Um, if you're new to Red Devils, Amphilophus labiatus is the scientific name. And then I've got a bunch of jewels in here. Some of them are coloring up really red now, and some of them are just kind of plain and drab. But I think there's over 10 jewels in here all together. I've got a bunch of clown loaches too that'll come out um, usually just during feeding time. I'm gonna put some, some food in here. Um, I've got, uh, I usually would feed small cichlid to them, but I've got a leftover bottle of, of goldfish that I, from when I had some goldfish before of Southern Delight. And it's basically small cichlid with some additional stuff. Um, that a lot of times will get the loaches to come out in the, in the bichers. I'm gonna just toss some in up above too um, for the next tank to see if we can get the bichers out. Um, it's a little tricky when you're one-handed here, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, of course, the minus up there are going to go first, but anyway, let's go back down here and see if we can't draw out the loaches and the, the bishers at all for you. They may come out a little later, so... Uh, anyway, up above then is the other Midas tank. This is actually Cheeto's brother, so he's also a uh, Amphilophus citronellus, like Cheeto, aka Midas cichlid, and here's the female. No spawning activity from them anymore, um, but he's still super active and super aggressive. I got a nice jewel pair in there, and then uh, there's three or four bichers and a bunch of clown loaches. Um, I'll try to show you. Oh, they, they, I got some more than just one. More, I got, I think, I don't remember how many jewels are in here total. There's a pair that spawns all the time. Then there's a couple others as well. There's three there total, one over there. This one's really red. But yeah, he, he gets all amped up. I don't know if the loaches and bichers are going to come out today or not. Um, they come out in the morning all the time, but... You know, that's when they're um, conditioned to know that it's feeding time, so. But this guy, he's pretty cool. There's a couple loaches coming out down in the bottom now. I just always like to try to show clown loaches if I can, because people really dig them. Uh, got a filter, sponge filter that the thing came out, but. Anyway, that's really it for the, ooh, all five discus are out now in the uh, pigeon bloods, checker, red checkerboard pigeons, I guess is what the technical name is. So yeah, these are, these are great looking. I'm digging them for sure. Um, that's all I got for you for the uh, part one. We'll do a saltwater update as well. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll roll those both out here uh, within probably hopefully uh, a couple of days or a couple of weeks of each other, but um, yeah, thanks for watching, as always, um, if you have any questions, let me know, comment below on uh, what you think about the discus, I know I used to keep them five, six years ago, and now I'm kind of getting back into them, so, uh, let me know what you think there, uh, let me know what your favorite fish in the video is, and, uh, until next time, later.